Battlefield Geeks and Gamers, Matt Linke here, and we're at uh, Origins Game Fair 2015, and yes, I'm still saying it right. <laughs> it is 2015. Well, last year I was at Gen Con and we were interviewing Origins 2015. Oh! I, I, I was very tired, Impressive. apparently. Yeah, we were Whovians, I guess. Um, and I'm here with Philip Reid, and we're going to talk a little bit about uh, some of the things that are going on at Steve Jackson Games, and then we're going to look at the 10-minute takedown that's hot off the press for Mars Attacks, which is a Steve Jackson Games product. So, it's been a busy year, actually. A lot of stuff has hit the market, um, or re-hit the market even in some cases, like Tile Chest is back. Tile Chest, Car Nightmare Wars. Chest. We've gone through two printings of Car Wars since October. The next printing will ship next month. I missed one. Yeah, uh, we had a printing in October that sold out in four days. We had a printing in March that oh was three to four weeks, and now the third printing of the Car Wars Classic ships in July. And you just did a um, Kickstarter for maps, right? For Car Wars Arenas, yep. yes, and that'll ship in December. Was there a PDF printout with that? No. Okay, because somebody I saw a Car Wars game here already, and it looked like one of the maps from. Well, that's because, that's because the maps in the Kickstarter are just like the classic maps from the 80s. I mean, we did oh. not, graphically, they look the same, and that's the entire idea, is these were all maps that used to be, like, this big. Because you were supposed to draw it out by hand yourself, and now we're doing the full size for everybody. Very cool, very cool. I used to draw those maps as a kid constantly, and i got to tell you, I would have killed for these maps at full size when I was 15. Oh, I bet. Oh, it saved so much time. Uh-huh. And they, they look so much better. One of my friends, um, apparently back in the 80s, they did a big Car Wars thing at his house. He set up like two 4x8 tables side by side, so they effectively had 8x8, eight, eight eight, right? And he hex mapped the whole table. And they were playing with Matchbox. <laughs> he must have spent 40 or 50 hours on this because he colored everything in with crayon. Wow. And I used to do that with uh, graph paper. Yeah. Yep. The game was 15 minutes long because somebody crashed into somebody else. <laughs> you just play again, you'll be fine. No, they were too angry. <laughs> so, uh, anyway, <laughs> back on track. Um, what are your your next releases? We're just now shipping Mars Attacks 10 Minute Takedown, which is a small dexterity game for four players. And next month we have Car Wars the Card Game coming out. This will be the third edition third edition of Car Wars the Card Game. The first was in 1990, second 2001. This edition adds 40 more cards to the game. And in August, we have Munchkin Steampunk Deluxe shipping the stores. Oh, yeah. I, I saw posters for that like last year. Yep. We announced it at Gen Con last year. I'm looking forward to that, actually. That, that looks... I like that idea. I like that idea a lot. <laughs> um, and that's going to be Gen Con, you said? That's the big Gen Con release? Um, we should have copies at Gen Con. It's just a, the timing's really weird. It's within a week or so of delivering. So oh, okay. it depends on how fast it processes through customs, how fast the shippers get oh, into the warehouse, Christmas. how fast the warehouse. No, knock on <laughs> table. Ugly, ugly table. Uh, knock on ugly <laughs> table. <laughs> well, not the ugliest table, because that's over there. Yeah, that's over there. Um, so what is the big Gen Con release, or is there not one scheduled? There's not a huge Gen Con release this year. I mean, hopefully uh, Munchkin Steampunk Deluxe makes it, because that should be big Gen Con release. But again, it's in this weird window of time. It's out of our hands and it's up to the federal gov federal government to properly customs clear that thing. So, we should be fine. Nothing so, goes wrong. Within the Steve Jackson's game world, what is your, your job? I am CEO of Steve Jackson Games. So my job is to run the company for Steve. I didn't realize that. I don't think that's what your title says on your email. <laughs> oh, really? I don't think so. I have to double. I thought it said something like you were like lead game designer. No. Oh, we should have played hipster dice. Eh. Like, uh, why is it dice and not die? You don't want to be rude. <laughs> that's just mean. Hipster die. Uh, oh. yeah, but it's 
single. It's one die. <laughs> well, you're buying it wrong, then. We made six different colors. Clearly, oh, you buy all six. I didn't know that. Go. I've got the one that glows in the dark. Actually, we made seven different colors, but the seventh is uh, obscure. Oh, it might, is that the like creamy white one? No, it's black. Oh, it's black on black. Cool. It's obscure. Obscure. Black on black. No, my official uh, is title that black is. Lights? No, I really want to do a black light game. That would be. Hipster there Die would be the one to do it. Not I mean, Hipster Die. <laughs> Your bias is showing. <laughs> um, no, there was a black light game. What was it a decade, fifteen years ago, or something that you played in the dark? Oh, I can't remember the name. It, it was one of the big companies too. You could buy it at Walmart and all kinds of stuff. I kind of remember it. I can't remember. But uh, no, my official title is Chief Executive Officer, and before that, I was Chief Operating Officer. And last December, while Steve and I were talking, he's like, "Well, now we're going to give you the official title of what you've been doing for a year or two anyway." And it's really fun. Um, Steve's focusing more on game design these days, and I just call him or email him when I want to ask a question about something weird that shows up, which is daily sometimes. I can imagine. You guys have a lot of games that come about. Um, some of them are simple, some of them are not. Yes. But even the simple games can have those rules questions pop up. Yes. Um, so, so you actually then have the... the not the power, but the... Oh, I took all the power. Well, but that's not what, I, that's not what I'm trying to... You have the ability to be involved technically with every game's design. That's part of what I love about this position at the company, is anything that interests me, I get involved in. So everything from planning out new releases, to development, to like um, the Mars Attacks Dice game, was I created an outline for the game, sent that over to staff, and then they built that and expanded out on that to create the finished design. But yeah, I mean it's the same position Steve has had for the last 35 years where anything I want to touch, I just touch. That would be an awesome job. Oh, it's so much fun. I need more hands. Cloning's not available yet to you, no. so I guess you're out of luck. Maybe regenerating appendages will be first. Um, I didn't say the hands had to be attached to me. I just need more hands. Well, that's more bodies. I didn't say they need to have bodies attached to them. I just need more hands. That sounds like an RPG. <laughs> <laughs> Which he has done plenty of. I've worked um, on RPGs, yes. Uh, yeah, he has worked on RPGs. He has a campaign builder out that's pretty impressive. Uh, yeah, it is a builder. Yeah, I call it a builder. Yeah, the official title is Campaign Planner. Yeah, that's was right. First my published bad. in 2003. That must be the version I have. Yeah. Um, and, and I like it. Um, was that before you worked for Steve? So I started working for Steve Jackson Games in 99. I quit in 2004. And then in early 2007, Steve's like, come on. So I went back and I've been there ever since. That's good that you can go back, no burnt bridges. That's always good. Oh, thing. no. I, and Steve was totally supportive. I quit because I wanted to do more of my own things. And I went and wrote product and PDF published for about two and a half, three years. And Steve said, okay, come on back. It's time. So I did. It's been fun. We've done a lot in the last eight years. I can't believe how much stuff you're pushing out in a year. I mean, I've known that you've been around for a long time, but in the last year, I've been a lot more... I've noticed a lot more stuff than I've noticed prior well, to... Well, and part of that is um, we've started licensing Munchkin out to other companies. So, like USAopoly published Munchkin Adventure Time, we were involved in some of the design decisions and final approvals of the product, but they handled the publishing side. Um, Alderac published the Love Letter Munchkin Loot Letter game. They've got Munchkin Smash Up coming up. Atlas Games has Munchkin Bloom coming up. USAopoly has uh, Munchkin Zombies The Walking Dead coming up. They have Munchkin The Nightmare Before Christmas coming up. And it's just helping us grow in general. And 
get Munchkin into new places and get more people helping us build Munchkin. Like Boom Studios is publishing the Munchkin comic book. Uh, five issues are out now. Number six comes out in a couple weeks. Funko is making toys. We have a t-shirt partner with Mighty Fine. And it's just, it's, there's more out there. But it's not so much that we're creating more or producing more as we're working with more people. And that's a good thing. And yes. It, it, it's like free marketing almost. <laughs> There's a reason Disney Consumer Products is the size that it is. There's So you're learning from that model. It, 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 I it really wish is. I could learn from that model. I am not smart enough to learn what Disney knows, but I can at least look. Well, and you drool. can you can look at it and drool and I get, drool get a concept a from it. Um, I, I usually look at it and give it money. <laughs> I wish I had that problem. <laughs> oh man. Um, so, what's your favorite game, Steve Jackson? Favorite Steve Jackson game. You know, I'm a really big fan of Dino Man. It's oh, a okay. card game. Uh, yeah. Turns 20 next year. Wow. They do like a special anniversary edition? No. What's the bummer? Next year's the 15th anniversary of Munchkin. We've got a lot oh, of you energy got eating up there. Run. We have a lot going on that I can't talk about, but if somebody was to find my phone, they would be so excited. I bet there's a super mega deluxe version. Why would there only be one? Well, I just figured the Super <laughs> Mega Deluxe version was going to have all of them. No, oh, you're thinking about the bus edition, where we oh, just sell you a bus, and it's got a uh, place to play inside, and every copy of the game ever. And Yeah. yeah. And well, then I can sell my house, we'll and get right move in, and upgrade, and RV go edition. from convention to convention. <laughs> I got this down. I don't think I could afford the bus, though. I don't think we can afford to make it. No, probably not. But now I have ideas and I need to talk to uh, Geek well, Chic. That, that would be a... Oh, wow. <laughs> wow, that'd be... Yeah, that'd we'll be just, We'll just create the uh, Munchkin Den. Yeah. And they come into your house and they just build the Munchkin Den and then they leave. That could work. I'm going to have to go talk to them. It would have to be good talking with you. <laughs> We're not done. Oh, That'd sorry. be a good hobbit hobbit. Yes. It would be good how it all. Um, I was thinking, like, you know, ogre box size from the Kickstarter with, no. like, Pathfinder, Munchkin, Super. No, thank you. No? Nothing? No, no. I, you don't want to ship it, huh? No. We've done that. It's <laughs> a big box. Uh, but that Kickstarter was insane. Um, so, well, you've already said that you enjoy your job thoroughly. Is there anything that you want to add to let them know before we move into Mars 10-minute takedown? Which will actually probably at this Ten point minute take down. make it a second video, I think. Okay. Or third. We talked for a while. I do that. No. I think everybody should just have fun playing whatever game they want to play. And if it happens to be something from Steve Jackson Games, awesome. If not, tell us what it is because we like to play games too. And that's a good attitude. I like that attitude. Wait. Anyway, now we're going to move on to 10 minute takedown. And uh, we'll be back in a second. Thanks, Phil. It's always a pleasure. Thank you.